Hello everyone, this is Dr. Apino and uh, in this video today we will be mainly discussing about the ESIC Insurance Medical Officer, the exams uh, study plan. So yesterday we have received the notification that the exam will be taking place on March 30th, 30th and uh, we hardly have 20 days in our hand and uh, in this video we will see how we can strategize these 20 days uh, to our best and uh, get a good rank in this upcoming exam. So this study plan, uh, I have made it myself. So if you are interested, you can follow this. If not, uh, you can make your own study plan. So before we discuss those things, if you are new to our channel, please do subscribe. And uh, join us also in the Telegram and our, our Instagram groups. The link is in bio. So the upcoming exam details and the admit card and uh, high yield topics, if you like, uh, please do let me know in the comment section. We will make high yield topics also. And uh, those things I will upload in telegram group as well as in this YouTube channel so make sure you are subscribed and stay updated so now let's start so uh, this is the official this is what was given the official notification that was released uh, in the January the exam will mainly have uh, two papers part one will be general medicine and pediatrics part two will be surgery gynecology obstetrics and PSA so uh, in part 1 you will have 100 questions which you will have to solve in 1 hour part 2 again 100 questions in 1 hour so total 200 questions in 2 hours so we expect most of the question to be in uh, one liner form or simple MCQs because uh, 120 questions sorry one, 120 minutes 200 question is quite a challenging task so you should also uh, answer fastly as well as correctly so uh, the number of vacancies and the number of candidates to be shortlisted for interview. You see that uh, according to it, uh, this year we'll have we have uh, uh, more or less thousand vacancies. So probably they will call the first three thousand uh, students who have secured a rank. So for example, if thirty to fifty thousand students are writing this exam this year, you should be uh, among the top three thousand in this exam. So you will have to. Do your exam really well the study plan for this exam will be so the time available will be approximately 18 days and uh, uh, we actually have uh, one more extra day that uh, will be uh, used uh, finally for uh, revision purposes so this 18 days that we are going to see the subjects we are going to cover is these uh, five important subjects Plus, we'll also cover other uh, collateral subjects, which will can be uh, used in the another day. That I have not uh, added here. So, the study plan. Uh, this this is the study plan. Uh, in the left side, I've given the daily schedule, which uh, we'll have to follow in the 24 hours. And in the right hand side, is the subject and uh, the date which you will. Uh, study or uh, uh, read those subjects so for uh, people who have prepared well already for uh, this exam or there are also people who are going to start just now so for both of them this uh, schedule is applicable but the revision materials the notes th those things will be different so for people who have already prepared uh, you can follow your same note notes for example if you you can uh, uh, you might be using marrow or prep ladder notes or any institute notes you can continue use, using that if you are newly uh, preparing you can uh, download those notes from uh, many uh, channels available in uh, social media and uh, you can read go through those notes and uh, coming to the schedule what we'll do in the morning 7 am to 10 am is we'll solve mcqs so every morning you train your brain to solve more and more MCQs so that during the actual exam when you go and write the exam in the morning session your brain will be already trained to solve MCQs in the morning and after 3 hours of solving MCQs uh, 10.30 to 2.30 we'll have our first revision 3.30 to 7.30 we'll have second revision 8.30 to 10 o'clock third revision and uh, last one and a half hours 10 to 11.30 we'll solve the previous year questions papers of ESIC IMO exam and the subjects to be done is medicine will be uh, starting from today to 14th of March 
uh, that is uh, four days approximately for medicine pediatrics two days 15 and 16 surgery 17 to 19 three days OBGYN three days 20 to 22nd PSM again uh, three days 23 to 25 and uh, then after completing all these five subjects then we'll also start doing the collateral subjects for example uh, questions from in the previous year questions we saw that questions uh, came apart from these five subjects such as uh, we have seen question from orthopedics anesthesia those kind of things so collateral subjects in the sense what i say is that when you uh, uh, when you have these two days for uh, after studying all the five important subjects in these two days you can also study the other important subjects for uh, example orthopedics and uh, uh, pharmacolo pharmacology all those subjects only the important topics not every topic the important topics and if you wish we'll also make a, a small video on those important topics as well then uh, after completing these uh, associated subjects in these two days then uh, in the 28th and 29th these uh, two days will be used for your second revision for example from 11th to 25th we have completed studying all the subjects then uh, 28 to 29 you will uh, revise all those subjects again and 30th will be your exam day so make sure that you are going in this order if you want to follow this schedule or if you have your own schedule you can uh, use that as well this is just a schedule that i have made and uh, i hope this will be helpful so see you can see this uh, 24 hours uh, time uh, division and the subjects in which uh, for each date to be studied so i hope this will be helpful and uh, that's all if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe thank you